Hey there, it's KS Man. It's my first time recording a video in a very long time, but I just uh, had Friend Bomber make a new course for me. This is the Heritage course at the Golf Club at Ibis. Um, my parents actually just bought a home in this community. It's a Jack Nicholas course. It's beautiful. And let's see how Friend Bomber did. All right, and we are about 160 yards or so from the pin. I've only played this course once. There's actually three different courses in this community. Played the uh, two other ones as well. and But I actually shot my best score on this one, so I have some good memories. All right, 160. Gonna go seven iron. I was thinking eight iron, but I don't think I could carry an eight iron over the sand. They roll out a little bit. No, I didn't get it. Even that's not going to get there. That was a bit underwhelming, but you're out of the sand, so good stuff. Okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. Oh man, 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 man. Starting off with a bogey. Starting out with a bogey here. Hopefully not a sign of things to come. Par four here. Let's have a nice clean drive. You launched it. Now that was a swing. I'd say around 105 yards or so to the pin here. Sandwich. That'd be too much. Nope, should be good. Nice. Here's a putt for Birdie. Nice. All right, nice to get that stroke right back. And with that, you'll go down to even par. Part three. And uh, what is this? Hole number three. Uh, 
Oh, I'm going to hit seven again. Hopefully I hit it a little bit better than I hit on the first hole or else this ball is getting wet. You know, I didn't see what he did with the, uh, is that a retaining wall up there? Why won't this stay? Thank you. Yeah, there we go, a nice little brick wall. Just a little further on to the right. So I'm not, like I said, I've only played this course once, so I'm gonna have to show this video to my dad to give some feedback if uh, there's anything that looks off. I hope this bites. Yeah, I just kind of yeah, knew seven. Seven would be a little bit too much, but rather that than end up in the water. I'm not sure if an eight iron would have carried far enough. I pulled it a little bit. He's aiming more out to the right. right down there. It's soft. Keep going. Keep going. Well, there you go. That's going to bring it down to even par. Okay, this is the fourth hole. There we go, that's looking good. Solid swing. up there more, or pitch it up, or go a little bit higher. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and go a little higher. Nice swing. Bite. Grab. There we go. Oh, five feet. That's going to be a gimme. Back-to-back -back birdies. That was a part okay, five. Okay, right? one under yeah. for the round. Oh, no, there was a part three in between. Not back to back for these. Okay, let's see what happens here on this par four. Let's go ahead and drop this one into the fairway and take it from there. I kind of remember there were a number of these holes. Actually, was this the one? I feel I was actually like even par or one under par when I played this. And then I put the drive in the water and the third shot in the water. And ended up, I think, getting a triple. Let's see if I could do a little bit better today. Yeah, that's a, cause it rolls, it rolls down. Yeah, there were, there was a lot more like bushes and stuff in the water, but kind of understandable that can't get it on here. Fine. 
Yeah, I know when you're designing these courses, there's a, a plant meter or an object meter. My guess nice. is it's pretty close to being filled, and so kind of keeps you from putting as many. Okay, 180 yards from the pin here. This is a dangerous shot. But we're still going to go for it. Maybe I'm a little more to the left. Center green. A bit longer there. A little shorter. As long as I hit it halfway decent, I'll have no problem at least getting into that sand. Ah. It actually said I carried at 168 on the launch monitor. So when we did 158 or 157, I think, it's in the game. Kind of surprised it was that close after looking at the launch monitor numbers. So I'm going to get up and stop it. Oh, come on, roll out. You are at least on the green. That's good stuff. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. I feel like the greens break more than this, but he is using lidar, so it should be accurate. It could just be where he put the uh, put the holes. It looks like it, there's more break further to the right there. Eight feet. No, oh, I didn't pull that. Oh, you're kidding me. Saying I pulled at 1.6 left, which says two. All right, for the bogey. I don't feel like it. Nice putt. You're in the hole. That one I hit more to the left than it ran it straight. All right, that dropped and shot will put you up to even power. Okay, hole number six. I'm going to hit a five iron here, try and run it up there. drawn that and it faded a little bit. It's too bad because that would have been decent distance. down to even par after that one. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Right, it's 449, par four. Got to get all of these two. Great contact, nice swing. I think there's sand up there. Yep. Too okay, you're kind of in some deep stuff. This is the danger zone.
It's a five iron. This isn't looking positive. Well, you're um, you're still in it, but you are hitting from a pretty gross lie, so don't let it get down. This one for the save. Nice pot. That one, we're staying right there at even par. Okay, par five here. <laughs> Solid swing. Great contact. It's a low burner. All right. Not terrible. Uh, on the right side of that green. Look at the way that slopes all the way down. I almost feel them. The problem is if I am on the right, off the green, it's going to be really easy on the next shot to go down the hole. We go down the slope, I mean, and end up back on the left. So I almost feel better off staying right on it or just even left and having a longer third. Oh, that should be perfect. Get up. Oh. Looks like I just needed a few more yards. They're just not, not so much back spin. You're on the green. A lot of work to do, but you're on. That is a tough pin placement. 26 footer from here to the cup. And it flattens out up there. If I would have just had another couple yards, that really would have been perfect. It happens up there. Straightens out. 26 feet up the split. Oh, Ooh, tough oh, break. Come on. Jesus. I kind of knew I hit it hard, but I didn't hit it that hard. And uh, this next putt for par.
Jeez. All right, one over for the round. And we have the ninth hole coming up. Yeah, this is another one of those you see that I kind of remember where if you start slicing it at all, you're in big trouble. And last hole's really a shame. I hit three good shots and ended up with a bogey. And look at this, you got all of that one. I'm sure of it. Okay, about 185 yards left to go here. Actually, I'm Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Nicely done for the par. And that'll keep you at one over for the round. All right, not a bad front nine. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. I'm trying to remember, I can look it up in my app, but I think I, when I played this in real life, I think I shot an 84. I don't remember what the splits were. At some point I might take a peek on my phone. It's going towards the sand. It's going to hit eight iron. I don't hit my five or four irons high enough to comfortably get over that lip. You're out of the bunker, that's good. Yeah, in real life, there are definitely a lot more houses around the course, but again, I think that's an issue with that uh, object meter that he probably just couldn't put all of them in. Got to go, get up, go, roll. OK, 
Okay, this one to save par. Just going right by the hole. Got a different courses have different green speeds, and I clearly am looking at a 19 foot putt from here. Playing for way too fast. The much quicker green that I've been playing. It. That one's uphill too. Yikes, right by, right by the hole. All right, let's drop this one in for the double bogey. Solid stroke on that one. Sitting at three over for the round here. Three. Hole number 11. Let's see my short keys. Eight iron. This might be actually the whole. I'm not sure if this is the whole. There was one hole where when I played it in real life, I put it to about two and a half feet. One of the par threes. I can't remember if it was this one. It might have been like the 14th or something. I'll have to see when we get there. Go. Get up. Yeah, the monitor said I carried it 145. A good eight iron for me carries 150 in. Those five yards would have made all the difference. And it actually looks like I'm kind of pin high, just with a little too far to the right. But. Yeah, but it kicked to the right. Oh, look at that. Keep rolling. Stop. Should be gimme. Three over for the round. Number 12, this is the 12th hole coming up. Ah, oh, that's my right. Yikes. So, shouldn't hurt me. Just literally time to go straight at on the sandwich block now. I'm gonna hit a five iron. Hopefully, I get it up enough. Nice. Ah. 
And we're out of the bunker onto the fairway. Decent distance as well. All right, we're right around 125 yards out. This is a scary shot. I feel like I remember a shot like this, but I thought it was on like 17 or something. Is that a pitching wedge? Uh-oh. Oh. Didn't read it. It could have been good, or it might have leaked to the right in the water. It was going to be close. Let's see what happens now. Uh, I might be a little short. I think you're heading into the cabbage on this one. And I can't tell you how many times it either goes that way or you hit a good one, it doesn't read it, and then you Sitting follow it out. up. Two over for the round. A real lousy one. So, net, net, Bird I always find a uh, Let's see another out. one. My first one was not going to be there. It was a little bit longer than that. Probably would have bounced on the green, but it might have kicked right into the water. Uh oh. All right, didn't slice that. So much. far, so good for this one. I knew it had some slice on it, I just didn't know how far right it was going to go. Turned out to be a pretty good drive. Gonna hit that pitching wedge again. Looking at 125 yards ish to the pin here. So I'm gonna go right at it and hope to get a little draw. I haven't been drawing my wedges as much as I normally do. <laughs> that one did. And that one I overdid. Well, it's gonna have to bite. Six feet, let's see if they give it to me. Let's see if we can save power on this putt. Nice putt there. And that'll keep you at two over for the round. Par four here. Let's have a nice clean drive. <laughs> Solid swing. I'm like that I'm getting a slice. Looking at 150 yards ish. I'm trying to put a nine to the center of the green. It's not hitting enough greens.
Well, I said I wanted to start hitting more green, so 45 foot putt. And if this drops, you'll get your birdie here. Get back on the green there. The grass is supposed to get shorter as you progress. Great chip. That was that was perfect. Two over for the round. Okay, par five. Not sure. Those two trees, um, right on the water's edge. I'll have to look into that. So 338 still. All right, you might want to tweak your club here. This is deep, deep down in there. Hit the three iron. Ah, nice swing. Well, I'm just glad to be out of the deep stuff. This is good. And looks like I'd say 160 yards or so out from the from the pin. Maybe a seven iron. Go in. One again. Go Whoa! On. Nice little chip in for birdie. That was that was that was a fine shot. Sitting at one over for the round. Nice solid birdie on that last hole. We got another birdie in the works here. Yeah, it must have been the other hole that I put it really close because I don't remember it being on one with uh, water. Five iron again. I should say my short game is nowhere near this good in real life. It's uh, the benefit of the simulator. My the short game is a lot better on the simulator, which is why I score so much better on the simulator than I do in real life.
know, this, the long game can definitely go either way on the simulator, just like on a real course. But my 26 game footer is from here to the cup. Significantly better, both chipping and putting when I play here. Probably say I shoot about 10 strokes better on my simulator than I do if I go out on a real course. Stumped that too. These greens are very quick. One over for the round. Okay, let's see what happens here on this par four. Yeah, I want to actually take go ahead and drop eight. this one into the fairway and take it. I feel it from like there. I shot an eighty-four, which is two strokes worse than my best score I've ever shot on a real course. And um, I feel like this hole, I put it in the water and I want to see if I made double or triple on this. Just be a moment. That scorecard. Ibis Heritage. Oh, I shot an 83. And I got a double on this hole including a penalty stroke. Yeah, so I put I put it in the water, had a double. So I shot an 83 on this. So that's my 82 is my best rounds ever. I'm like a nat tee shot. My best simulator round is two under par, which that I can never do. Now, this is the one I was saying, you remember on that par five, I said I thought that it looked like 17. And when I was playing this, I didn't know that there was as much room behind it. I had a, right, a longer shot in, I think I, played a pitching wedge rather than a nine iron. And then when I got up there and I saw it, I, I hit it into that bank and then it went down. I didn't hit a bad shot. Anyway, this is a sandwich. Hope this one bites. Come back. Oh, you're on the green. You're on the green. Where was the backspin from that other hole? Looks like it slopes down all Okay, also. 21 feet to the cup from here. Yeah. Just a little backspin would have really uh, pulled that right down to the hole. Yeah, that's a tough one. Just gonna keep rolling. Look at that. All right, one over for the round. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. One sad part about this game, you can see that he has a fountain out there. The fountains are so small, you just can't make them any bigger. Clearly, the real fountain would be a lot bigger than that. Now, that was a swing. Okay, we're about uh, 200 yards out here. I'm not going for that angle. 
go. Heading for over there. Five iron. Is it going to have enough? I'm so nervous about putting it in the water. I have a good round going. So on this, you have to know that if you're over 40 or under 40 yards out of the sand, the game penalizes you differently based on, this is only a, I think like a 14% penalty instead of a 40% penalty if it was under 40 yards. Well, at least you're out of the sand. Okay, let's see if you can save par here. Yeah. How many of them? Sixteen foot putt that you hit. And if this drops, five. that's your bogey. This would be a sand double bogey. Nice putt, you're in there. So that's the uh, golf club at Ibis, the Heritage Course by Friend Bomber. Another awesome Two job. Over at the end of your round. Nice job out there. Well, thanks very much for the round today. I had a good time out there. Hope you did too. See you next time. Of course, it looks fantastic. Again, because I've only played it one time, I'll have to uh, speak with my dad to see whether, uh, you know, how accurate he feels it is to the real thing. You know, it certainly has the feel of what the course looks like. It does a great job of planting, using trees and things like that. Um, just doing what he can with the uh, game designer. So that was a lot of fun. Put up a good score also, 74. I'll definitely take that. And anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Thanks for watching.